guess who just recorded a full two minutes with the microphone off it was me he 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 it was me um but yeah grunge cast kit i'm sorry if you can hear some background noise it's too hot to close the window so there's gonna be a weird sounds i'm sorry um but yeah i one of my friends gave me the kit thank you so much friend uh for last night and i went straight to bed because i was so tired and then i wrote down my notes kind of like a general idea of what i wanted to make with it like as like the first time i play with it and this is that household um i started out by just like going through all the cast items and then like randomizing the sim a bunch so that i had a like a i don't know not necessarily a blank slate but like somewhere to start that isn't one of the randomized sims that you start with when you open the game and right now i'm just like looking for a dyed hair that has the vibe of the image in my head and uh yeah i don't know i really like these sims i'm i'm excited i hope i get to play with them a little bit i'm kind of very committed to my current game though so i don't know how i'm, I'm, I'm i'll figure it out mini series maybe i don't know i'm very excited about the crunch kit it's so far up my alley i'm i'm so happy the chip nail polish is so good i've wanted that for a while it's it, it's just so good i really like this kit i don't really love kits as a concept i think they are way too expensive for what they actually give your game like the grunge kit doesn't even come with a grunge music genre like i can't make my grunge sims like grunge music what the hell you know um the uh, the everyday outfit went off smoothly but the formal was hard i really wanted to use the grunge kit and i struggled i wanted to do like a long dress thing and i thought that that could be cute and kind of formal like a long skirt and then i ended up picking this one instead which i kind of regret now i should wish i went with a long skirt because the originally the skirt i wanted to use is base game and just unavailable and then because it wasn't like high-waisted enough but then the other one that I looked at, I think is from university, but it was like a weird texture. I don't know. We're on to, we're on to, uh, athletic workout clothes anyway. Um, and yeah, I wanted to try the, the little, like, I want to say leggings. I don't know. And I went back to, I go like back and forth a lot, unfortunately, between, outfits to like add things that i want everywhere here i'm adding nail polish i tried to like add the same shoes to a couple fits and stuff like that which in a speed build does not look good but in my game it works so we're on to sleep i thought a big comfy sweater would be nice oh. Oh. i'm sleepy but i also thought it might be a bit a bit much so she has two sleepwear outfits. One, it's the same outfit twice, but once with a sweater and once with a t-shirt, and I think it works quite well. Um, onto party, there's like a, it's pretty chill, you know. We got like the, the band sweater and the, jeans with the doodles. I love the jeans with the doodle. The jeans with the doodles. Yep, that's. Mm hmm. Jeans with doodles. I can talk. I swear sims make up so hard i try my best but it's so hard and yeah i i love the new jeans they were great i think they're really fun um summery makeup is even harder so difficult to do um and yeah i really just try to use the kit for every outfit if possible and that it didn't always work and so i had to like choose other packs and i didn't really want to i was hoping to use the kit for everything but whatever um and i found out through this that like high school sheer like jacket thing with the underwear from the update a couple months ago kind of looks like a swimsuit with a cover up on top of it also these glasses from the kit are floating i tried to i thought maybe oh maybe it's her nose maybe it's made for masculine sims maybe it's better for masculine sims no i thought maybe it was dependent on where the nose bridge was maybe it was dependent on where the tip of the nose was no no matter what it floats why 
Why, Sims team? Why? EA, where are you? I just want to talk. So I used that little jacket as like a beach cover up. And then I added a second swimmer outfit. That's just one of those like base game pride tops in all black with the same underwear from the update. Um, to sort of look like, oh, this is the swimsuit. And then this is the swimsuit with the cover up on. And I think it works. I also added sunscreen to both of their uh, swimwear. But like I added two outfits for swimwear and it's the same outfit twice but one of them has sunscreen and the same for hot weather and i thought that was fun i thought that was kind of cool and fun cold weather i really like this layering that they've got going on here i think it's great i i don't know if i'm a big layer these these days the new dress is really cute but with certain body types i don't know if it's like the size of the waist or the stomach or the hip or what but there are some clothing items in the sims 4 that get kind of bulky in a way that doesn't make sense for the garment to be bulky and the same thing uh, and that thing is happening with this dress and i really wanted i really wanted her to wear it but it didn't work um and then i'm doing the same thing that i did with the other sim here with the masculine sim just sort of randomizing until i get somewhere that it's like close-ish to what I want in my head and then I build on it I don't really I don't like messing with faces for too long I it freaks me out a little bit so I usually like having a place to start I'm also like not a big cast player as like body changing if that makes sense like I I'm a generations player right like I do legacies and I play for several generations I'm not used to changing my Sims appearance beyond hair and clothes and maybe tattoos, right? Like, that's... I'm not good at it. I don't like doing it. You may have caught it. It may have moved too fast, but the previous Sim is named Owl. She uses she, they pronouns, and this is going to be Green who uses they, he pronouns. Because, um, I... S so my, my idea for these Sims is... Since the grunge kit and the book nook kit came out at the same time and my friend gave me both because my friend is an absolute angel, I was thinking, okay, the concept, this couple own a queer radical bookshop or library, something like that, right? Like maybe both, like they, you can either have a library card or, and they also sell books, something like that. That's like the concept. And I made a joke with my friend the other day, actually not the other day, actually today, I'm I need to stop saying the other day when I don't mean it, uh, that, uh, you, if you're making a couple in The Sims, or if you're playing with a couple in The Sims in June, they have to be queer. They have to be gay or trans. If you're playing with cishet couples in June, queerphobic, which is like obviously a joke, but also I don't want to, I don't want to play with cishets in June. And I wanted to try out both masculine and feminine frame casts. So, yeah. I think I managed to use every item in the kit at least once. Um, I, th I think. I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. Uh, which was sort of my goal of, so I'm very happy I achieved it. I really like this earring with the key. I knew a guy in high school who, um, they, was it a guy? I don't think it was a guy. I don't remember. It was someone. I knew someone in high school who had like, uh, a, uh, key ring that they put in their ear, like in their earring hole or whatever with like uh those guitar thingies on it uh because they study music oh i'm sorry if you just heard my phone um i've just not talked about the cast at all i'm so sorry i dressing masculine sims and talking about dressing masculine frame sims is so hard for me <laughs> i don't know how to do it i'm so sorry i just got distracted but i really like green style there's a lot of like muted like I don't know I don't want to say fairy grunge but like 
almost sort of like the fairy grunge color palette vibes like there's lots of greens and browns and soft colors and I think they're lovely I think they're so chill and so cute and so great and I love them they're oh look at look at them look at them aren't they lovely I love this little couple I'm so happy about them I'm so happy with them I tried to do makeup on green and it's makeup is hard enough on feminine frames frame gems shims sims i can't talk today i'm sorry makeup is hard enough on feminine framed sims and all of the makeup is made for feminine framed sims like i had to remove the filters to get most of the makeup and it's it's so hard it's so hard why am i so bad at this why am i so bad at this like part of this is on the game for not making makeup that is very suitable for masculine faces but like i i need to admit that i'm just bad at it it's not always EA's fault. This is like this is a good 50-50. This is on both of us. I'm adding my little some little details, giving them traits. Uh they're all bookworms, music lovers, and creative. They're all they're both. Um Owl wants to be like a friend of the world and green wants to be a best-selling author. I give them some likes and dislikes. And I give them a cat. I feel like they would have a cat. The cat is just named Emery, which is like the uh, randomized last name that I got for Al. Um, so they both have that last name and just the cat is just named after the last name. I randomized some colors for the cat, gave the cat some traits and give them... I wanted to give them a green eye and a brown eye because those are the eyes of the Sims, but there are no brown eyes.